Next up, another project I own. And if you've noticed on this channel, I uh, do not like to hide things. And uh, when I talk about projects, it's because I am biased. <laughs> I mean, it always surprised me when like like other YouTubers or other people on Twitter are like, I just do it because I love the project. And, you know, and I'm like, yeah, you're invested into it. So all these different things I'm talking about, I'm invested into them. There's, there's a reason why I talk about these things. Of course, I don't, you know, just me talking about it doesn't really do a dent in, in the price it's just me talking about it but it does attract my attention and it is the reason why i talk about these things a lot more so uh what's going on here i thought it was interesting is because uh china's state uh, sanctioned blockchain product or bsn it added polka dot i was like geez that's amazing so what's going on here so if you don't know bsn is the uh, state-run blockchain service network it is a closed network and is it it's it's the initiative for China to kind of take control of, of blockchain in their country and really get people involved because they want to be the world leader. And that's a smart thing because apparently America can't do that because they just drag their feet. Not that I'm bitter, just that I'm bitter. And, uh, you know, good for China for, you know, taking a lead in these permission. I mean, it is what it is. It is still permission. But, hey, I mean, they're, they're taking the lead, so good for them. Anyhow, the state-sanctioned network, which was launched in July, wow, allows developers to access public chains, public chains, to build or operate their decentralized applications or dApps, but they're all closed. So they state, we anticipate Polkadot to be used by developers across the world to build and run innovative protocols and applications. This was actually Bjorn Wagner, co-founder of Parity Technologies behind Polkadot. The BSN integration will support developers on that journey by enabling them to seamlessly connect to the public chain. Polkadot helps connect both public and permission chains with each other on its protocol. So when I was reading this, I'm like, why does China implement this? What is what are they get out of it? They're like, oh, okay, that's right. Polkadot doesn't really compete with anybody, it's just there for interoperability. So that's one of the reasons why I've invested in Polkadot. Anyhow, it's set to join BSN's open permission blockchain initiative to provide blockchain services in the Chinese market where decentralized public chains are heavily scrutinized by its government. And out of all that scrutiny, they still say, you know what, Polkadot, we're gonna go with that. These are the things that you have to look for in projects, like who is adopting it? What kind of community do they have? What is the team behind it? When you know these types of things, you kind of get excited for the project. And you're like, okay, well, I don't know what's going to go on in the near term, but they're setting themselves up for massive explosion moving on in the future. And it's why I invested into it. So let me just think about this project. Let's move on.